And for local entertainment, Austin builds itself as the live music capital of the world. But there's a lot of music to discover in San Marcos as well. Daniel Bowen has more in this Bobcat update. San Marcos is home to several venues that host live musical performances. At times, some pretty big names show up on the marquees. The Cheatham Street Warehouse is nationally known for hosting country music stars and is the venue that introduced Country Hall of Famer George Strait to the music scene. The warehouse's owner, Kent Finley, has served as a mentor to many rising stars and he records several of them in his recording studio across the street. Well, that's all we're about is, is you know, preserving and developing Texas music and so that's what we've been doing for a while so I hope I hope that uh, hope that the, what we've done is has made it made some impact. Live performances in San Marcos can also be found at the Texas Music Theater, the Triple Crown, the Rail Yard, Tantra, Taxis, and Sean Patrick's. Singer-songwriter Brady Beal says he enjoys the San Marcos music scene. Being very welcomed and being embraced, I mean, it's very conducive to making music. If you have people that tell you, man, you're doing a great job, I really like what you're doing, you're obviously going to you're going to commit to it more and you're going to produce more. The popularity of the local venues is attracting larger crowds and bigger names, and San Marcos is hosting a growing number of music festivals each year, including KTSW's Mr. Fest later this month. For Bobcat Update, I'm Daniel Bowen. Spring break has come to a close and the TABC is planning to release two new smartphone apps for next spring. One of the apps will simulate intoxication, while the other allows patrons to report establishments that engage in questionable activity. However, some bar owners have questioned the practicality of the reporting method. They're concerned some of the claims will be made up. I have seen in some newspaper articles where they quote some business owners as having concerns about that and I guess I want to reassure the business owners that we're not in the business of going out and filing tickets with no more basis than somebody's complaint. San Marcos bar owners are not strangers to the TABC. Bar managers already report problems to the commission the next day at the TABC office located right on the city square. Taxi's Piano Bar says they aren't threatened at all by the new app because measures are already being taken to ensure compliance. Anybody that thinks that they're going to report something that I'm not going to report the next day, I don't know, it just seems redundant to me. I mean, but that's fine. I got nothing to hide. You know, as far as I know, there's somebody from the TABC undercover in here every night. And that's the way you got to run your business. I mean, things are going to happen. It's a bar. Violations can already be reported to TABC through email or telephone. The app will just be one more way to notify TABC of the violation. For Bobcat Update, I'm Will Birdie. Many students are already making their way back to Sewell Park now that the weather is starting to warm up. The river flow has returned to more normal levels after much needed rain and the weather is beautiful making the river a fun way to relax after a long day of classes. For water lovers, renting a kayak is popular at the San Marcos River. But if you would prefer to stay dry, you can play basketball or soak up the sun while lying on the bank. Other favorite pastimes at the river include reading, fishing, and throwing frisbees. Construction on Cheatham Street near the San Marcos River is ongoing. Several streets in the neighborhood are affected. The project to improve underground water systems was started in May 2010 and was supposed to be completed this month. However, it will now likely continue through at least August. The construction forces customers of businesses in the area to take alternate routes. Although Texas has seen some rain, it did little to change the overall drought situation. That's why conserving water is important. But with your help, Texas doesn't have to be so dry. There are many ways in which individuals can contribute to water conservation on a daily basis. Things as simple as not washing your dishes or clothes unless you have a full load can save hundreds of gallons a month. Did you know that turning off your faucet while brushing your teeth can save up to 25 gallons a month? 
To find more easy ways of saving water, you can visit www.groundwater.org. Get informed today.